Hello everyone, my name is Nurul Izanatisha Binti Badu Arif. So today I'm gonna present about biochemical process. So first we have to know about the contaminant. Contaminant that may enter into groundwater from septic systems into bacteria, virus, detergents, and household cleaners. This can create a serious contaminant problems. And despite the fact that groundwater is located underground, it's possible for it to become the con uh, contaminant to a variety of sources. Chemical contaminants are elements or compounds. These contaminants may be naturally occurring or man-made. Examples are chemicals which is nitrogen, bleach, salt, um, pesticides, metals, toxic products, and by bacteria and also human or animal drugs. Bio biological contaminants is uh, contaminants that occur when food become contaminated by living organisms or the substance they produce. This include biological matter produced by humans, rodents, insects, and microorganisms. Biochemical process is the process that occurs in a living organisms involving biomolecules. All organisms need both energies and raw materials to, um, to survive. So, for this biochemical process um, to happen, it will have a transformation mechanism, which is the first one is diffusion, advection, and also dispersion. This mechanism is um, to, uh, used to move the contaminant from source to receptor. First one is diffusion. Diffusion is a contaminant in water that will move from an area of a greater concentration towards an area where it is less concentrated. It will occur as long as the concentration gradient exists. Even if the fluid is not moving and as a result, a contaminant may spread away from the place where it is introduced into a porous medium. Diffusions may also occur when the concentrations of a contaminant is higher in one stream than in um, adjacent stratum. Next one is advections. It's also known as uh, advective transport or convection. It is also referred to the contaminant movement by flowing water in response to the hydraulic gradients. These advections also transport contaminant at a different rates in each stratum. Dispersions is a groundwater flow to a different porous media occurs at a very rate due to the arrangement of um, particles in the subsurface. It's also referred to the spreading of the contaminant room from highly concentrated area to the less concentrated area. So for the dispersion mechanisms, it is helped by the variations in the velocity, um, different solute uh, flow path, and it also can cause the plume to spread away. So that's all from me. Thank you.